Hello everybody, my name is Zen, and welcome to my first impressions of Crimson Dawn, which is not to be mistaken with the crime syndicate from Star Wars. Now this is a Vampire Survivors clone, and it is a genre that I have become obsessed with lately. I'm just like so fascinated by uh, this particular set of games that keep coming out, and people who are taking Vampire Survivors and kind of putting their own twist on it, because uh, I love Vampire Survivors. A uh, recent one that I did was I think it was called like Scarlet Tower. That one was great. I have a first impressions of that if you want to search for it on the channel. Um, I'm really curious about what people do in in these like, I would call them clones, but some of them not so much. But let's just call this one a clone from what I've seen so far. I haven't seen anything past the screen except for a few screenshots and it looks fairly similar. So I'm really interested in what these developers are doing to, to keep certain things that make vampire survivors like that kind of game and things that they're doing to change it and change up the the formula and whatnot so let's jump right in so we're gonna go start playing uh, with an xbox controller through steam by the way choose a starting hero okay so we got huskarl um he's a fearless warrior expert with axes and spears can only equip physical weapons as starting weapons special ability every level up increases all physical damage by one percent up to a max of 50 percent that sounds cool um sorceress wise ma magician expert with rays and meteors can only equip magic weapons as starting weapons uh special ability every second magic weapons equipped increases every second magic weapon equipped Oh, I see. Every second magic, not like second as in time. Every second magic weapon equipped increases the number of projectiles for all magic weapons. That's cool. And then finally, Trickster, Swift Thief, expert with arrows and knives, can equip both physical and magic weapons as starting weapons. Special ability, every level up increases crit rate by 1% up to a max of 50. So you got three pretty good starting options here. This uh, physical like spears and axes sounds really interesting because that's not something that you see a whole lot of in these uh, in this genre of games. You see more like this, like meteors and rays. So I feel like the sorceress is probably going to be the one that I end up playing. I think that this one is a lot of fun, but for this particular video, I think that the most interesting thing here is the melee stuff. So let's let's try this out. Um, if I select it and then go to start, how does this work? Start. I don't know. I don't know if I actually. Oh, okay. Oh, we got a town. Oh, this is very interesting. So what does the axe do? Swings an axe in an arc in front of you, the direction you are facing, uh, in the direction you're facing horizontally. The axe does not move with you. Okay. Ooh, that's weird. Uh, spear launches a spear in the direction you're moving or facing, either horizontally or vertically, then launches it in the opposite direction as well, damaging all enemies it hits. Ooh, that's really cool. I like that. What do we got here? Um, let's use the mouse for a second. So we got some tavern. All right. So this is how you get extra characters. It looks like we're going to spend gold. So, uh oh, we have started with him. Now we need 250 to unlock the other two. Seems that there is also a druid and a witch hunter. Ooh, that sounds real cool. I like that. I, I like this interface because it takes your typical um, just like m menu navigation and amps it up. It, ma it makes it a little bit more interactive. Uh, we apparently have some kind of blacksmith and some kind of market, but we're not there yet. So let's go ahead and just hop in. Survive for 150 seconds. I think we could probably do that. I'm a veteran. I'm a veteran. I've put a stupid amount of time into these kind of games. Uh, let's go ahead and start. Cool. All right. So that was our axe. Okay. Graphic style is still very, you know, pixel art, but it's, it's pretty. It looks really good. I wish my range on my weapons was slightly higher, but I can dig it. You know, this is, this is working for me. Oh, cool level up effect. Double shards. Health. Okay. So I can do increased max HP. I can chance to gather two shards instead of one, which are, so I see zero out of nine shards on the top. Are those shards? What are shards? What's XP? Soul Reap. Chance to heal character when a monster dies through weapon attack. Ram. If the character moves in the same direction for at least uh, 0 0.75 seconds, they gain bonus damage. And then Meteor. Meteors fall from the sky and randomly hit the ground. You know what? I think I think Ram sounds freaking awesome. Let's try that. So I'm moving in the same direction. Is it actually giving me a movement speed increase? Not noticing it. Not noticing it. I can I can always go back and check. It's like wood. 
Are we like picking up like a bunch of resources instead of just standard XP? That's interesting. I can dig that. <laughs> I wonder if those resources are used in the um, creation of buildings back in town. I think that would be pretty cool. Long shot. If the character remains stationary for at least one second, they gain bonus uh, weapon range and flying speed. Um, so this goes up to 25%. I'm not really noticing the movement speed on that one. I can increase my movement speed or adrenaline rush. All equipped cooldowns are decreased by this value when a monster is close to the character. Sure. 8% 8, 8 extra cooldown. I don't know if that's going to actually affect us. I don't know if our character is going to, you know, need cooldown. It, that's the other thing. Cooldown and attack speed seem to be pretty different in these games. They don't necessarily um, define what that means. Is the cooldown the attacks or the time between our different attacks or the different abilities used or... Yeah, I haven't seen attack speed yet, so we're just going to assume that we're going to be attacking faster now. Hammer, rare, serves a flying hammer, which flies around in a spiraling motion, damaging all enemies it hits. The hammers do not move with you. I like that. And then tornado, summons tornadoes, which move away from you in random directions. It can change directions randomly several times. That sounds cool, too. Let's go with hammer. It seems more um, fitting for our current character. I like the hammer a lot. Ooh, that's really cool. Big AOE clear damage. It's really what we're trying to go for here. Now, this, the reason the spear is really good is because it's just giving us huge AOE clear. Um, pick up range. Let's get that. I don't know what our maximum amount of items that we can have are or upgrades, but it seems to be down below the bottom. Um... You know, totally okay with that. Taking a little bit of damage because I'm trying to look at the UI here. Oh, we got some new enemies too. Bunch of achievements. Oh my goodness. Shield wall. Easy trip. Shiny. Uh, we can get light up. Lightning. Double materials. 10% chance to get double materials. Pickup range up to 60%. I'm going to do that because I feel like my pickup range is painfully low. Got some big old beetles. Just taking multiple hits to take those guys out. Oh, I am getting like close in here. I do not like this. These little snake guys. They're doing a lot to me. <laughs> uh, race. Magic ray. Double shards. Pickup range up to 80%. I'm going to go ahead and take that. kind of hoping to get some different kinds of weapons. I don't want to take all the... Uh, like I mentioned, you know, when we were picking our character, I don't necessarily want to take a bunch of magic weapons because I feel like that is fairly common in these kind of games. I, I want to see what other random nonsense they have um, at our disposal. Magic orb, okay. Um, we can increase that pickup range even further. Magic orbs, fires at random visible enemies, passing through enemies along the way. They explode, okay. Let's try that. Oh, that's cool. That's kind, of, that's kind of a cool little ability. There's a giant skeleton here. I like the I like the art style. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, the thing that is standing out to me about the the visual style of the game is these larger assets. They don't look as great as the smaller ones. Um, whether or not that's because they're scaling up the the um, characters or not. Because like our character itself looks great. Ooh, mission complete. We just claim reward. Oh, and then that's the end of that mission. Okay, so yeah, now we have a bunch of resources down here. What do we got? Got wood, paper, stone. Not sure what the, the paper one is. Um, I don't have enough gold yet. I only got three from that. But uh, we have a couple other things here. So now the blacksmith is unlocked. Okay, so this is like our skill tree. This is cool. Arrow, hammer, spear. So we could just upgrade this stuff. So if I click on axe... And then spear. Okay, so these things, it's, a, it's like a whole skill tree. Oh my goodness, this is awesome. Um, these are rays. Blacksmith ray, blacksmith axe. So those are the ones that I've unlocked. What's this? It's a market. Okay, so I can like trade out resources. Okay, I can dig that. Let's, um, let's go ahead and upgrade. Because we're starting with what? We're starting with the, the, the axe um, and the spear. So the spear, I can increase the size by 50%. That's actually not a bad idea. Um, how do I get that? Level two, level three. 
Um, oh, I see here. Oh, when I hit, the, okay, I see, I see, I see. So this is what's happening here. We have a tree. We continue along our tree from left to right with the spear. On the top, when we hit level two, we're gonna gain cooldown. Or actually, when we hit level one, we're gonna gain plus three damage. Then level two, we're gonna gain cooldown. Level three, we're gonna. So by when we hit these certain tiers in it, we're gonna get this stuff. It's very interesting. So, um, oh sorry, that was the axe. The spear is kind of the same idea. Distance is increased on that one. All right, so let's go like um, damage, cooldown, or distance. I think distance on the axe is hyper good. Um, and that's the only thing that we could do with that. So I actually, I'm feeling pretty good about <laughs> that. Let's go ahead and try again. Survive for 150 seconds. Interesting. It's like 400 monsters. So I, I can increase the difficulty dynamically. It's like 400 monsters survive for 500 seconds. Um, let's try to do just these two for now. And we're getting extra rewards from it. Oh, that man, that, the distance on that axe upgrade, not the greatest. <laughs> I was hoping it would be a little bit more than that. I like this. I think this is really cool. I, th I think it feels unique in a sea of vampire survivor clones. Um, this is a game that I would invest time into because it feels unique, but it still has, you know, a, a lot of the same stuff going on with it. Uh, magic orb, spear plus one. Let's try that. So let's increase our cooldown or decrease our cooldown on our spear. I like this spear a lot. Um, it's a little skinny though. That's kind of the part of the problem with the spear. A little, a little skinny. Um, however, if I like line it up properly, it gives like insane clearing with it. I'm liking this. You know, I, I felt like, um, what was it called? It's like Crimson Tower. No, it wasn't Crimson Tower. Scarlet Tower. <laughs> Scarlet Tower. Just crimson everything. Everybody's using the same kind of colors. Um, Scarlet Tower was a little too much like Vampire Survivors to me. This is just different enough where I'm like, yeah, this, this feels like fresh. It feels fresh. It feels really good. Um, let's upgrade our axe too. May as well get that extra damage in there. I, I like being able to just kind of clear with stuff here it's it's feeling pretty good i'm gonna try to kill big dudes as well let's, let's also try to clear out like large swaths of enemies down here and pick this stuff up pickup range pretty good i like that pickup range i don't like having to be like on top of stuff to pick it up that was um one of the weird changes that Scarlet Tower made to the formula is it had it had some upgrades that just allowed you to pick up stuff from like all the way across the, the map. I put like 40 hours into that game too. Uh, let's upgrade our spear, I think. I think our spear is probably the better of the two weapons now that I've taken a second shot at this. And I kind of wish that instead of putting the upgrade in the axe, I put it into the spear. It's totally fine though. Do. Yeah, let's get that the extra spear upgrade. I feel like what I want to do. Oh, I just noticed that it shows plus three down there, so it shows that I have that upgrade. What I want to do uh, with this is get quite a bit further, like maybe like ten hours into the game, and see if these upgrade trees are worth it. And like, are are you gonna feel? You know, like it's necessary. Ooh, we got a chest. Oh, let's see what the chest thing is like. I gotta get down there. I'm just gonna go ahead and run straight to it. Bam. Oh, that's satisfying. That's very satisfying. So we get to choose curse coin. Critical strike chance 20%, movement speed minus 20%. Leave a trail of ice to slow enemies or heal. Let's try it. Leave a trail of ice. I think that sounds interesting. How much is it actually slowing? Not a lot. <laughs> I would say my biggest thing with this game so far, man, I am getting like cornered over here. Do I want that hammer? I think I do. Uh, my biggest thing with this game so far is it feels like the effects are not crazy enough yet. However, it's not like I'm getting very far into these missions it's given me. So that's another thing to consider. Um, you know, vampire survivors at the end, I'm about to die. 
I have one health. Vampire Survivor is at the end of a mission. Wow, I died. Um, I had like insane screen herpes going on. It was just like, you couldn't tell what was going on. Um, that's a problem. I'm really curious how they solve that issue as you get further along with this. Um, so I can do some more upgrades here. I could, I could try to upgrade the spear. That might be a little bit better. Um, flying speed. Weapons are divided by level and only work if they unlocked in the hub. Upgrade, right. So cooldown minus 25% damage plus 10. Let's try damage. Um, I could actually convert here and try to get some more wood. To get size as well. Let's do that real quick. So let's convert some, some stone. Oh, wait, wait, I need, how many, how much wood did I need? 89. That's, that's kind of brutal. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get 89 wood. <laughs> yeah, that's not happening. All right, that's fine. Let's do another mission real quick. Um, I'm actually gonna take the slave 400 monsters off real quick. And we'll, we'll try this upgrade with the spear, with the extra spear damage. I mean, that's already a lot better and that was without any upgrades too, so I can dig it. Uh, I do feel like I'm moving kind of slow. Is that a bad thing? I don't know. It's just an observation. I do feel like the movement is fairly slow and, and monsters are feeling like they're kind of crawling along quite literally. Spear, axe, tornado. Let's check out and see what the, the tornado was like. That's pretty cool. I feel like the tornado is very thematic for being like a melee character. Not that I needed that heal, but I just went and picked up. Uh, because for me, I'm a huge Diablo player and Whirlwind is a, is a big thing for barbarians. And this is like, this feels like the closest I'm gonna get. <laughs> uh, double materials, ram, shadow step, what a shadow step. If the character keeps moving for at least a half second, they gain a chance to evade. Interesting. Let's just upgrade our spear. I think it's the best of our weapons for sure. Although this tornado just didn't work. Did good work. I'm loving this. Uh, and I said this about Scarlet Tower. I was like, I'm liking this a lot. I think I might continue playing it. <laughs> and sure enough, I put a stupid amount of time into it. I feel like this is, if I, if I had to choose between the two, right now I'm more intrigued by this, but that's mostly down to the amount of time that I've put into Scarlet Tower. Uh, Vampire Survivors just got a new expansion, so that's always interesting. But, you know, when you put so much time into that game, the, the biggest problem with Vampire Survivors is it gets very samey. And I think that is a problem that a lot of people see with this genre. They feel like they've kind of seen it all. Um, that's why I like games like this that are kind of changing it up enough that it feels new and unique. I saw that there was like a it's kind of like weapon thing, like cross swords. So I went back this direction, but I'm not actually noticing what exactly that was. So it might be this like this boss guy here. Maybe I should try to kill the boss and get a chest. Got arrow. Let's upgrade our spear. And see what we can do with that. What I ought to do is like be, yeah, get, trying to get the spear to actually do something useful here. There we go. That's dead. I clear these guys out. Let's get that chest. Yeah, okay, so we got uh, revive a monster to fight at your side. That's pretty cool. The slow didn't really do anything. I'm just going to take the instant level up. Let's upgrade that spear. I feel like, um... I'm missing out on the pickup <laughs> distance. It's kind of, it's kind of brutal. Uh, pickup range, yeah, let's go ahead and grab this. Oh, that's a little bit better. That's a little bit better. <laughs> I've just now noticed that, okay, so the shards are XP. So I'm, I'm gathering that finally. It's probably taking me way too long to figure that one out. Uh, our XP bar is at the top. We have our timer. We've now completed our mission. And instead of just, I like this. I like this. This is kind of new and unique. Instead of just having us go until we die, which sometimes can be 15, 20, 25 minutes, it's just like, you know what? You completed your mission. Why don't you get your rewards? Claim those. Go go rank up. I like that a lot. I think that's really, really cool. Still don't have enough gold, so that's a problem. 
but I think, you know, I'm liking the, uh, the spear quite a lot. So I feel like I need to keep upgrading it. I wonder what happens if, yeah, so I can just go ahead and select different weapons. So I don't really like the ax to be perfectly honest. So maybe I just start with the hammer too. Oh, and then I can actually just level him up. Damage ax plus five. Right abilities work permanently, not obtained. Okay, and then this is like axe and spear, and health and axe and spear. This is interesting. Okay, that's cool. I don't know if I want to use my money on that. Well, maybe I do, but I'm not using the axe. That's the thing. Don't want to use it. So let's go ahead and, um, what was it to get the size? I need 89. So we're gonna, we're gonna test out this. Um, if I want, Goodness, I, I need a lot for this, don't I? So to get 89, I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Get the 90. Um, we'll come over here. Pick that up. Okay, that feels, that feels nice. What about the hammer? Um, need more wood for that. This is cool. This is a lot of fun. I, I, I think that this is um, a good take on this genre. And it's definitely a game I'm going to be putting more time into. Uh, if you want to check out the game, as always, I always put the links in the description so you can go check it out, maybe pick it up. It's pretty cheap. It's really cheap. So it's a, a nice little fun time sink game if that's the kind of thing you're into. And it feels way different uh, in a lot of ways compared to Vampire Survivors and other clones of the genre. And again, I just love, I don't know why I have a fascination of this, but I love seeing how how developers are changing things up in this particular genre and how they're iterating because man vampire survivors hit the scene hard and fast and people are you know at first knee-jerk reactions were to create very similar games um we saw a lot of that to begin with now now we're starting to see the divergence you know the, the iteration the um unique choices that people are making in this de design space and i really really love that if you enjoyed this video make sure to hit the like button and if you want to see more stuff like this you can subscribe i upload daily haven't missed a day uh, in the almost 12 years that i've been doing this it's a bit of a, an accomplishment on my part really enjoy being able to continue uploading more videos and finally if you want to support the channel you can become a channel member by hitting the join button down below with all that being said thank you for watching i hope you like this video and we shall see you all next time